Hey guys, okay, just a quick demo for magmo.co. This is magmo.co. This is the website, and you would just simple sign in, log in once you get your information, but works a lot like the mobile app. Um, in terms of where it lands, you land on latest, featured, most viewed, a lot of the similarities. Again, if you tap, you can move through the magmos with the arrows. If you tap any of the pictures, they actually go full screen. This is using your mouse. Click opens up, click and goes back. Forward through, if you click on the ads at the end, they can take you directly out to the page starting in a new tab. And uh, just like the other stuff here at the end, next Magmo, you can follow the person, you can like it, you can flag it, um, or you can share. And the share is some of the similarities. You write something about your Magmo, having a great time. I'm not gonna do it all. Here we go, having a great time. One button can post out to Facebook, Twitter, Google+. If you want to email, click here, opens up your email, and you can directly email. You can write whatever you want. There's the link. It's just a hyperlink out. Let's close back. And then next Magmo, this is being fixed and moved, but right now, let me scroll down here. The way to get just over to the next page, we're turning that arrow. It's backwards. Click, takes you right out, and you're right at the next Magmo. So again, you can just kind of flip through these things one after another, running through, growing big in Zurich, again, tap. Uh, same similarities to mobile, everything on the left, if I click on travel, it will show me latest, featured, and most viewed on travel. If I search, I can search on different people. Uh, if you go to your profile, both of these buttons up top work for profile, that'll take you to your profile, or this one will. On your profile, latest, featured, and most viewed of what you put in shows up. If you want to edit your profile, click edit. You can change your photo. All your information comes up. Uh, any changes you do, you do have to save at the bottom. And that's pretty much it on the profile. Let's go back on profile here, though. Uh, a couple other things that do pop up. Again, a lot of this is very similar to mobile. If you want to view one, when you're in your profile, right, let's just click on one here. What does pop up is the same navigation view share edit or delete if we go to edit takes us directly into a way to edit the information right so we double click comes up close our text editing we can move our boxes around with the arrows things like that so we're going to close our text editing we're done and we're going to repost and it's out there right so all of that's the same what's a little different with magmo is how to create all right, this is how you create a Magmo in, in the web editor, in the website. It's a little bit different because, again, on mobile you can pinch and zoom, but your same templates show up, one, two, three, and four. We're going to pick this with two templates. Now, you have to pick your photos one at a time. Again, it's not like mobile. So we're going to use our mouse. We're going to select. Let's see if I have some pictures out here somewhere. Uh, yeah, here's one with Tony Blair. That'll work for now. So when the picture comes up, what you actually have to do is you double click the picture. And from there, you use the plus and minus keys on your computer. Again, a little different. I'm, I'm making it larger with the plus key. And you can move it around with your mouse. You hold the mouse key down, the left button, with your mouse over. And that's how you resize your pictures on Magmo in here. So let's pick one other one. Let's see what that one is. Um, Oh, yeah, there we go. Another celebrity shot. But, again, I'm just moving it around with my mouse. And if I want to make it larger, you use the plus and minus to move it around. Save and position. Everything else is the same. Click, add text, having a great time. All of that information is the same. Close our text editing. If we want to add new pages, we add new pages. Again, select, template. We're directly in. And... Double click the picture. I'm going to plus and minus it. I can move it around with my mouse, save position, and close. All right, so once we're done, again, up to four pages. When you're done, you hit done. You can hashtag it, select a category. We're going to post that one in social. I can tag people if I want in it, Tom Green. Name the location. We can mark it as featured. Post a Magmo. Post, success, it's done. And again, from there, we can go straight into our share screen. We can share to all or we can email. All right, so that's it. It's a little different on the creation. Uh, but again, now once it comes up, it's going to show up as home. 
So I'm going to home. There's the latest Magmo. If I want to delete it or change it again, I go back to my profile. My pictures will show up latest, featured, and most viewed. I'm going to select that one. I'm going to delete it out. Confirmation, do I want to delete? Yes. Success, delete it, and done. So that's it. That's the web editor for Magmo. Super easy. Again, a lot of similarities to the, the mobile site, just a little different on how you have to create the Magmo. All right. I hope that helps.